Hello guys and welcome to 5 ways to improve your programming skills. And this is something that's requested a lot of times but also a lot of people already made a video about. So I'm going to tell you 5 ways to improve your programming skills on unusual ways. So the very first thing is be social. Because other people know a lot about the world we live in. And in the end you are creating something for the people who live inside this world. And even though you're just handling the programming uh, so the behind the scenes, you need to make things that are logic, that could be happening inside the real world. For example, inside a game, the physics needs to be realistic, but inside an app, it needs to be clear what's, what the app is going to do. Um, and also as a programmer, it is, you need to make sure that the functions are right and the functions are with the right buttons and things like that. Even though a lot of people will say, we can just think of that on our own. Your friends have a lot of experience within their life, within their jobs. Just talk to them and they will tell you a lot. And also, just be social, it's just fun. Also, one big problem is just the same as a lot of smaller problems. You can always divide a big problem inside smaller uh, problems. For example, if you're trying to create a very complex system, you can just work it out to smaller steps and just see those steps as the smaller problems and you can find the solutions on the web or you can think of them on your own and one way to do it is use pseudocode so you know that something needs to happen for example if you're making a cup of coffee this is the very basic pseudocode this is something that uh, probably the very first line that organize everything together when you're doing that within a real script it will take a few lines but you at least know what you need to search for what you need to uh, where you need to find a solution for what you need to say what's happening or what you need to code within that uh, program at that position. Also learn about all the parts of your industry. In the end you need to work together as a team and you need to create one product. Not all kinds of products within one product or whatever. So again an example from the game uh, industry is that players when for example with the first person shooter uh, if they shoot, they, uh, there's going to be an animation uh, for the recoil. But you need to know how that is uh, modeled and how that is animated before you can include it within your program. And this sounds, well, a little bit, yeah, but we already know it. But there are a lot more complex things which, well, it's a little bit harder to give an example within a minute. But they will teach you about how they think the game should work or how the app should work. And if you know that more or better, and if you can think like them, it's also very, well, a little bit easier to create a program for them. And also adding comments is going to be very useful. If you're working with a multiple programmers within one team to tell the other person what actually is happening uh, within this code, uh, will make it easier for them to improve the code. And also if you're just working alone, uh, like me, then it's also very useful if you're coming back to it a month later or even just a day later when you don't really know exactly what's happening within this code, but due to the comments, you know, oh, this is going to happen here. And then just one simple bonus, learn how to use Google. A lot of people just don't know it. Um, that's something I really don't understand, but on the web are standing a lot of useful resources. Just learn how to use Google. There are a lot of guides on the web. <laughs> you should probably search on them if that isn't uh, too hard. But in the end, on the web are already standing a lot of solution for your smaller problems. So just Google them and we'll just find uh, a lot of them inside the scripting manual, inside the manual of the engine you're using or just on the web. So please remember it that Google is your best friend. And this is everything for this uh, video. I hope you guys liked it. I hope I can help some of you guys. And if I did, please leave a like or subscribe. That will really support this channel. And I see you guys probably in the next video where I will talk about another topic. Bye.